everybody. Welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip. Uh, today I'm going to tell you about another extension, but really it's a website as well. So uh, if you install this extension, uh, which is called Zitebord, Z-I-T-E-B-O-A-R-D, uh, this is also, it's going to take you right to the website. So if you click on the extension, it's just an easy way for your kids to actually get there. Okay. Uh, so if you click on it, this is what it takes you to. It's an interactive, uh, an interactive way for kids to come together and work on um, uh, something at the same exact time. So it's an interactive whiteboard. Uh, you can add in a bunch of things if anyone has ever used uh, Padlet before. Very similar to Padlet, except this has um, a little more flexibility with what you can do inside. Uh, so uh, first thing is first, when the kids go there, you do want to make sure they click in and they um, log in. They can log in with Google accounts. So as long as they're using a, a Chromebook, they can just click log in with Google and it's going to automatically log them in. Then what's going to happen is uh, you can create a board. Uh, the new board, this is what the new board actually looks like, what you see in front of you. So it's totally blank, just a blank canvas. Uh, if you go over to invite people, uh, it, this pops up. So there is a link just for this specific board. So one of the kids can create it take that link and then share it with the rest of the kids. Maybe you want to do that through Google Classroom or uh, something along those lines. If your kids have email access, uh, they you can go ahead and put in email addresses. But if they don't, I would say that they could share that link with each other. Um, and probably Google Classroom is going to be the best way to do that. Okay, so once you're there, let's say that we're going to do a, um, let's say that we're going to have a topic and we're just going to say the topic right now is going to be uh, China. All right, so if we say that the big topic is China, Maybe you'd want to be a little more official and actually put a big, uh, a post up there as well, which I'll show you in just a second. But I wanted to show you the capability. You can write on it. So if the kids have interactive uh, displays, if they have um, uh, touchscreen Chromebooks or iPads, they could use that, uh, they could use that function. Um, so you can write on the board. Once the kids have access, they're all going to be able to do this at the exact same time. Uh, they can add in a post-it, a sticky. So we can add a sticky. And uh, then we can say where we want it to go. And let's say that maybe one of the kids is going to do uh, focus on the Great Wall of China. And they're going to research that. So they're researching that. They can put that information on a sticky. Uh, someone else, another student can come in and maybe they're going to do the government of China. Another one's going to do, um, you know, the, um, the nature and the habitat of, um, of China. Uh, so they can all add their own stickies, organize it on there. You can also add in pictures. So I just went over and I found a picture of the Great Wall of China. I'm going to uh, click on copy image address. I'm going to head back over there. If the kids go into their display, they can do insert an image and paste in that link. And of course, maybe they wouldn't be able to do this by themselves right away. Maybe you would need to help them out with that. Uh, we can insert that. And it's going to insert that picture. Uh, which we then can, you know, we can move around, we can make bigger, smaller, all that good stuff and put it on the screen as well. So if there's, you know, maybe you're having, you're saying to the kids, okay, you know, these are the sections of your screen. Uh, you know, uh, I want four of you to work together. And in each section, uh, you need to research a specific topic about uh, China or whatever the topic is, topic is obviously. Um, so uh, this is a really nice tool, um, a really nice tool to use with your kids, a great way to interact with each other, a great way to, to show that collaboration. Um, I could definitely see this working out for, you know, for book studies uh, as well, if you're giving kids a specific topic. Um, another thing that you could possibly do is you as the teacher could make uh, this interactive white um, whiteboard for a group of students and then share that link out into Google Classroom with just the students in that group. So that could be an idea as well. Uh, lots of different ways that you could use this. I think it opens up, uh, you know, a lot of, um, uh, it's definitely an inspiration uh, of, um, of ways that you could potentially use this in your classroom. So I hope that helps and I will uh, see you next Tuesday. Thanks.